it's Butters and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <sighs> so today I'm going back to my roots. I'm doing a Call of Duty commentary. I'm actually recording my face cam. I'm going to slap it on some Call of Duty gameplay. Oh my god. It feels like it's been a hot minute since I've done this. And the reason I'm doing this is for a very special reason because Black Ops 4 was just officially announced. Oh my gosh. Also, before we get into the gameplay, I do want to go ahead and say at the very beginning of the game, I died. Like somebody shot me in the back, but the rest of the game, I don't die. So does that, does that count as a flawless free fall? I guess it doesn't because I did technically go 30 and 1, but I had a 30 kill streak. So does it count? I don't know. Whatever. That game was from one of the first games that I had playing Black Ops 3 back after the first time in like a year. So I'm kind of impressed with myself either way, but I do want to know like, does it count as a flawless free-for-all? I don't think it does, but what whatever, whatever. It's a three minute free-for-all with a little bit of sniping in there. That's all you guys need to know. Anyways, moving on. Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 officially announced. I am just over the stars, over the moon. I am over everything that is above this atmosphere. I am so excited for Black Ops 4, y'all don't even know. For those who have been subscribed to my channel or you follow me over on my Twitch, you guys would probably know that my top three favorite CODs are Modern for 2, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 3. And if I had to pick a fourth, I'd probably pick Black Ops 2. I am such a big fan of the Black Ops series. I feel like they just do it right every time. I love the mechanics, I love the feel of the game, I love the maps, I love the maps. And one of my favorite things is actually just how bright and pretty they make the games. It's not that the graphics are like super out of this world or anything, they just do a really good job of making the game so colorful and appealing to the eye. I can just play the game for hours and hours and hours at a time. So with that being said, I am extremely, extremely excited about Black Ops 4. I I can't even believe I'm saying that. Black Ops for black black ops 4 black ops 4 it's real so as y'all can tell i'm pretty damn excited but i want to hear y'all's thoughts down in the comments below are you guys excited for black ops 4 do you think that the black ops series needs to just stop do you think that they might you know accidentally mess up the black ops series somehow in the fourth game do you think they're gonna nail it perfectly do you think it's gonna be strong on the esports side do you think it's gonna be strong on the content creation side do you think it's gonna be strong in the community for a long time please let me know down in the comments below i am so eager to hear what y'all have in mind my opinion i'm so excited i am so over the moon i cannot wait Oh my gosh, can October be here already? By the way, the game's coming out October 12th. I don't think I mentioned that, but October 12th is apparently when the game's coming out. So that is so exciting. And I know that the Call of Duty community tends to get into this repetitive cycle where, you know, we get excited for the for the new game coming out whenever it gets revealed in March or April, that we're so excited, a beta comes out, we're extremely excited, then the game comes out, we're like, oh my gosh, best Call of Duty ever, and then we're done two months later. But honestly, I haven't been this excited for a Call of Duty since Black Ops 3. So... I, I, I'm just really excited for another Black Ops game, okay? I, <laughs> I'm so excited. I have faith in Treyarch. I think they're gonna do a great job. And not to mention, I've kind of missed playing Call of Duty. Don't get me wrong, Fortnite's fun, Skyrim's fun, Guitar Hero's fun, but man, <laughs> I really miss Call of Duty. That's pretty much all I want to talk about in regards to Black Ops 4. But a couple other little updates. Uh, this weekend is CWL Atlanta, so I'm gonna be hanging out at the Soar House and hanging out in Atlanta with a bunch of Soar members, and I will probably vlog slash stream slash just overall document the experience so i hope you guys keep on the lookout for that follow me on twitter if you want to add me on snapchat if you want to follow me on twitch if you want to please subscribe to me on youtube you're already here it's just right down below just press the little button down there press the bell too if you want to you don't have to but like if you guys want to know what's happening with cwl atlanta feel free to follow me on all my social media because i'm sure i'll be posting about it everywhere hmm was there anything else i really wanted to talk about i don't know did I want to? Oh, I think it's pretty much everything, yeah. So I have a little bit of homework that I have to do, and then I have to drive up to Atlanta for the event, and then after the event, it's going to be my last spring break in college. <laughs> oh no, it's so bittersweet. Like, I'm happy to be graduating college, obviously, but like, it's my last spring break in college, you know? That's It's so iconic, you know? Aww. But if I do anything in particular this spring break, you guys know that I will definitely vlog it. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I just wanted to do a classic Call of Duty commentary because, you know, Black Ops 4, I wanted to do a classic video that I've done in the past. It's been a while. I really wanted to. Okay. Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video of Whatever I Make. Bye bye I just cracked my shoulder. I don't know if you guys heard that. Ow. Kind of hurt.